Sister Wives, Cody bonds with David in Bizarre Tale. And Sister Wives Michael D. Brown shows off skinnier than ever body after drastic weight loss as she reveals her diet secrets. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my 2's Gossip Channel. Sister Wives star Cody Brown has David Woolley in a new, strange train of thought that suggests he sees something different for the future, both on and off his TLC series. Plus, he recently blurted out something that gave one big clue into his mindset about Christine Brown. Cody Brown can't hide his infatuation with his ex-wife's new husband as far as fans are concerned. He gave himself away during this week's Sister Wives one-on-one. -on -one. Cody said a few things to Sukanya Krishnan that raised red flags about he just can't let go of the fact he's lost, Christine. Brown. While he plays off that it's good riddance for him, his words say something quite the opposite. Plus, viewers see his ideas about David Woolley as somewhat skewed. At one point, the man with ringlets said to Sukanya, if Christine loves David when trying to prove a point. For Sister Wives fans, this seems to suggest he still can't believe that she can love someone other than him. But, Sukanya reassures Cody a few times that David Woolley is the real deal for his ex-wife. Still, that didn't stop him from trying again to insert himself into his ex-wife's life. David Woolley's behavior redefined in story. Cody Brown keeps finding ways to include himself in Christine's life. So, next, he's making bizarre assumptions about her future husband. It sounds like he thinks he and David might become friends one day. Well, that assumption was at least a friendly version of what he sees for the future between him and Christine. But it didn't last but a few seconds. He made this suggestion to Sukanya who eventually set him straight. The sister wives patriarch imagines that they all, Cody, David, Robin, and Christine, become friends one day. Then at an imaginary gathering David, who is now Christine's husband, approaches the father of 18. He sees this as a husband bonding experience on David's part. Sister Wives, Cody Concox fairy tale for David The Sister Wives Patriarch and his ex's new husband are together at some family gathering, according to the imagination of Cody Brown. He then suggests to Sukanya Krishnan that David might be pulling me aside and go, Dude, this is nuts. He then says he'll start complaining about his wife, Christine. Then Cody says he'll respond to David by saying, Dude, be loyal to your wife. Don't talk to me about it. Cody explains his imaginary conversation with David off his observations on how guys normally like to complain about their wives to each other. But Sukanya puts the man with this bizarre dreamt up tale in his place. She chuckles and tells Cody that she doesn't think David Woolley is going to be pulling him over or have that conversation that's popped out of his imagination. Cody tossed the word Machiavellian around when describing his ex-wife during Sister Wives one-on-one -on -one camera time. Machiavellian describes someone who is sneaky, cunning, and lacking a moral code. It sounds as if he thinks David will see her that way after they've been married for a while. So, it appears the sister wife's husband plans to bond with David Woolley sometime in the future over the faults Cody sees in his ex-wife. But the ex-husband already conjured up his comeback to David Woolley, don't talk to me about it. Fans see this as nothing more than David Woolley living rent-free in Cody Brown's head. He just can't shake off the thought that he's been replaced. Now with David Woolley on the show, and fans loving him, it looks like he's sharing his spotlight with him on the TLC series. And, we all know how Cody Brown likes the spotlight. Michael T. Brown has shared all of her dieting secrets that helped her achieve her incredible weight loss. The 27-year-old has followed in her mother Christine Brown's footsteps. By losing a lot of weight in the past year, Michael T. shared a new video on her Instagram to promote the product she credits her weight loss success. The clip starts by showing the TLC star while wearing a white and yellow striped shirt that fell off her tiny figure. She was shaking a tall thin bottle of a pink liquid while showing the camera a huge grin. After, the clip shows some wellness photos. And Michael T. has written a message for her fans. She wrote, The weight loss may be what draws you in, but it won't be why you stay. You'll stay because your hormones are balancing. You'll stay because you're finally sleeping through the night. You'll stay because it's helping with your anxiety and sadness. You'll stay for the energy that allows you to be the person that you need to be. The message continued and then said, You'll stay because you're excited to help others do the same. Michael T. recently shared a new photo flaunting her fabulous new figure. The Sister Wives star posted the photo on her Instagram after attending a glamorous wedding. In the photo, she and her husband Tony, 29, 
were posed while standing in front of a beautifully decorated Christmas tree. Michelty was wearing a stunning dark green dress that hugged her thin frame, and she paired it with sparkly silver platform sandals and jewelry. Tony was sporting a gray suit jacket, black pants, and a nice pair of black sneakers while also showing off his newly found thin frame. After Michelty gave birth to her twins Archer and Ace, one, she and her husband came together to work on their weight loss. 75 pounds. Down after giving birth to her twins, Michelty informed fans that they weighed 5.13 and 5.7 pounds days before welcoming the babies. Although she hasn't shared exactly how much baby weight she put on, she said she was measuring seven weeks past a normal pregnancy. In September, a source exclusively told the US Sun that, to date, she has lost about 75 pounds. She dropped a lot of weight. Quickly from breastfeeding and then she worked hard to lose more weight, the source revealed. She's been talking about the pink drink from Plexus that her mom and sister wife Janelle also have been raving about. The drink is a hunger suppressant. However, a source said that the pink drink is only part of her weight loss equation. The drink helps, but she lost weight from being more active and raising three kids. It took months to get to the weight she is now. She is super happy and looks half the size she was when she was pregnant. The source told the US Sunday what do you think about this video please told on comment box also subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching this Cliff's Lodge with just two days left for the wedding, which features a pontoon boat and mimosas waiting to be chugged. Christine reveals that she stalked David before meeting him. You said, let's meet, David responds. And I said, oh, God. She's aggressive, he says during his confessional. Janelle, Christine's sister, wife for life, is in attendance talking about how Christine and David being openly affectionate is helping soothe the wounds that Cody inflicted on his third wife. I'm excited to say I do, and he's excited to say I do to anything I want. Christine announces in front of her friends and family, which makes them erupt with laughter. Meanwhile, Mary tells the cameras that she is aware of. Christine getting married but doesn't know when it is happening. Christine knows she's met the love of her life. David is the soulmate to Christine whom Cody could never become. Christine knows she can be herself when she's with David. She doesn't need to prove anything to him and doesn't need to do things to earn his love. There are no strings attached when David says he loves her. It's the first thing she noticed about him. Christine is finally having the grand wedding that she always wanted as Sister Wives season 18 comes to an end. After having watched Christine and getting to know her better, it'll be exciting to watch her dream come true with David. Sister Wives star Mary Brown may not find her prince charming. Will she be okay without a partner? Christine lucked out but true. Love's hard to find. Sister Wives season 18 star Mary Brown is looking fit and fabulous after a dramatic post-split weight loss makeover, but she's probably psychologically scarred by her horrible experiences with Cody Brown. The emotional damage may mean that she'll be single for a long time, if not forever. While she's valiantly trying to move on, so much has happened. There must be times when Mary hangs her head and cries. Cody's been so mean. Sister Wives season 18 was tough for Mary. She was the lowest on the Brown family totem pole. Cody seems to be into degrading Mary, perhaps as payback for the unfortunate catfishing scandal. Yes, Mary got into a virtual romance with a woman who was posing as a man. That was years ago, but the cranky patriarch keeps holding a grudge. In the season, he gave Mary so many reasons to be sad. He put her down by asking her to move into a converted barn, and giving more attention to Robin and Janelle Brown. Even Janelle got an unfulfilling first date experience with Cody. Mary always got the drags. A 30-second wedding anniversary would be a big deal to most men, but Cody seemed extremely annoyed when Mary called him to wish him well on their special day, as seen in the exclusive clip posted on YouTube by Entertainment Tonight. Instead of being kind to the woman that he ignored or dissed, one or the other, for such a long time, he decided to twist the knife. Cody lashed out sadistically, telling her that the call was just so unnecessary because they weren't, they ended up going out to dinner, and it did not go well. That cringe event is just one more thing that Mary has to try and forget. It's the tip of a very large iceberg. When all her memories come flooding back, it must be so depressing. Cody's cold-hearted conduct is almost unbelievable in light of how loyal, except for the catfishing scandal, she's been. Cody seemingly resents her for trying to make things work. She's a thorn in his side. However, he sent mixed messages. 
When he told her that she shouldn't move to Utah, he wanted her to live closer to him and Robin. Nonetheless, this apparently kind request was really a brutal insult in disguise. That's because he was doing it just to please Robin. He was afraid that Robin would lose respect for him if he let the plural marriage fall apart. Again and again, it's all about Robin, ad nauseum. The end result of this. Emotional abuse is a woman who has lost all hope. When talking about Cody's feelings towards her, she didn't mince words. She said on screen that he doesn't give a, a flying rat's a asterisk s. Mary delayed her exit. Was she missing some very clear signals as she hung in there? Yes. What was going through her mind as she absorbed Cody's negativity year after year? Probably, a lot of sad thoughts on a loop. Mary's not the biggest daredevil around, although she did take a leap of faith when she decided to borrow money from relatives in order to buy her BNB, Lizzie's Heritage Inn. In matters of the heart, she holds back, repressing her feelings. She seems timid. In the future, her meek and mild mindset may hold her back from finding love. However, there's always the chance that she'll wade into the dating pool again someday. Lately, she's been showing signs that she's a bolder woman. Just days ago, she posted an Instagram, showing off a new red hair color. Changing hair colors isn't that big of a deal. It's easy to change back if the color isn't just right, or just for the novelty of doing something different. So, although Mary went for a ginger look that showed a different side of her personality, she's still Mary. That means that getting out there and mingling with men after a truly excruciating relationship may not be that easy. Redhead, blonde or bronde, Mary has to try and get over the insecurities that Cody left her with. Some of those insecurities were probably there before he began hurting her. It's unfair to blame Cody for every single thing that went wrong in Mary's life, but in terms of her attitude towards dating, he bears some responsibility. Sister wives Christine Brown, who's got all the raw courage that Mary often lacks, actually worried about dating because Cody made her feel so bad about herself. If Christine had those fears, Mary's probably got a lot more of them Mary's attempting to connect with love interests after her Cody split, but maybe her heart's not in it. It's possible that she feels pressured to get out and date just to show the world that she's